Welcome back to Lausanne and the World Figure Skating Championships presented by MasterCard. Our final collection of couples in ice dancing now on the ice warming up. As a look at Marina Anasina and Gwendal sure, Pizarat of France. They will remain on the Anasina, ice while the other couples Gwendal skate off. France. They should get a warm reception. France, after all, is just across Lake Geneva from Lausanne. Watch this couple carefully, because they have picked a theme that will be used by another couple later on. This free dance was criticized in earlier competitions for not having its discernible beat, one of the main rules for ice dancing in the free dance. But I have no trouble hearing this beat. Me too. It's titled Ala Leila by Mohammed Sultan. Remember, the man in ice dancing cannot lift his hands above his head in a lift. That would be considered acrobatic and more pear-like in character. unison on this footwork sequence. Earlier we saw Ilya Averbuk skating with Arina Lobacheva. Averbuk used to be Marina Anisina's partner. Together they were World Junior Ice Dance Champions back in 1990. I like the way this team moves in and out of their moves. They've connected them nicely. They're a bit ragged around the edges at times, but I think that's a little bit of lack of experience, and maybe not taking enough time to really finish the choreography. They really do work well when they're side by side, doing the same steps. Like that, just that simple lunge. Positioning that is very difficult, and making it ride in the same direction with one another. When you choose music for a free dance, you normally like to choose things that are engaging, that an audience can enjoy, and that they can appreciate, and not have to think so hard. And I must tell you that this music is a bit odd. It's off the beaten track. They're doing a fine job to it. And it's interesting to me to note that not only did they skate to this harem theme, but you will see it from Bridge Shook Platoff as well. Marina Anisina and Gwendal Pizarat of France. Fifth after the original dance portion of the program. We'll see in a moment whether they've improved themselves.
They seem to be in a close battle with their French teammates, La Vinci and Mignot. Now these tricks are very much in the Russian mode in that they are repeated. It's called dramatic repetition. You don't do one, you do two, and sometimes three and four to drive it home. Now their technical merit scores. These technical merit scores are actually very, very close to Punzelin and Swallows. However, the five sevens really put them above Punzelin and Swallow, especially on the technical merit. In artistic, they are well above Punzel and Swallow with five sevens. Looks like almost, almost across the board with five sixes mixed in there.